Go like hey this. guys, what's going on? Hello, hello. Just gonna check quickly if I can. You can talk. I'm I can I talk. Share this over. All right, you share it over and you like put your head right in close <laughs> so they can see really close up of your face. Well, I need to see the screen. I'm gonna talk here. I'm just gonna be the silent talker. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> I don't know. Kyle, what's, how are you, brother? I don't know. I think that's like for lighting. We're just having a play around for the start of this, guys. Usually we sit there and say, we'll wait for the audience to build and all this sort of stuff. But I do apologize for my croaky voice too. Um, bit of yelling and screaming yesterday oh. at um, Tony Robbins' been event. The whole day. Video's paused. Is it? Did you pause it? Ah. Is that what that button's for? Are we on now? Are we on Kyle? now there, Kyle? And Thank I see you for being on Dexter so that we can... jumped on. Let us know if we're still rocking and rolling here, dude. Is that up there? What have you done? No. Oh, that's light. Wow. Look how pale Makes it we lighter. are. Oh, I don't know. This is good. weird. What have you done? I don't know. This is anyway. weird. Anyway, now that people are going to watch the recording of this and just see us mumbling along and. <laughs> talking about whatever. You want to start talking? You've just lost. I've just lost all train of wow. thought now. Yeah. Wow. I can <laughs> yeah, see she's getting so frustrated guys, too, which we... is hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty normal that your partner triggers you. Anyway, guys, we just wanted to chat about, let you guys know a couple of things. So this afternoon we are doing coffee, coffee on the couch with the coaches. Um, so with the lovely couple behind Empowered Health, which is Albie and Mel. Yes. I'm not going to say their last names because I don't know how to say Melanie's last name. Oh. But she's great. And they're <laughs> the key thing is they're awesome. They're, they are amazing, yeah. They're and very cool. What do they do? What do they do? They are superstars in the fitness game, especially here in Sydney. CrossFit, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about that. I'll take that up with Albie, what CrossFit is. But no, they are, and they've got their own um, their own brand or their own company, Empowered Health, and they do an amazing, amazing job. They are so, so across the health and fitness game. Yeah. Um, and so it's they, really, really cool. Yeah, like, so Empowered Health, their whole concept of their, like, business is, so they combine the exercise, so, like, movement with nutrition and mindset. So it's, like, a complete... They really work with people to do like a complete um, life transformation in all areas of their life, which is really a cool. Absolutely passionate about their own personal growth they are too, just like us. Very similar in a lot of our um, areas that we find she as... She said, I don't do exercise. No. Mm. <laughs> she said it. I'm sure she's going to get put on the spot this afternoon. Mind you, I've been guilty yeah. of not much exercise lately myself, but I'm going to like have excuses and that for that, so that's okay. Yeah. So they're just, they're going to be, we're like guests on their live feed, so they're going to be asking us questions. We have no idea what they're going to no be. No idea, and I, I've got an idea. They will do their best to put us on the spot, which is the cool thing about it. That's why we really, really would love you to check it out. Um, we will share it to our own pages and everything like that. It's going to be around around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Um, we just have to check yeah, in with them. Said. Yeah, yes. around 3 o'clock. So definitely, definitely jump into that. And if you haven't checked them out before too, it's going to be really cool to see uh, some of the people we talk about environment a lot, and um, like I know the last few days we've been in an, an amazing environment with so many like-minded people, mm. especially yesterday afternoon at Tony Robbins. Um, it's the first time I've seen him live, even though I've dived into his stuff for the last couple of years. It was um, that was not many words I could put to that. That's why I've got a croaky voice today. It was, it was amazing, really, really amazing. Mm. Like what I yesterday, I truly understood, you know, because I. I've been watching his stuff for so long and he always talks about, you know, I'm not a speaker, I get people to actually do the stuff, like I get people to actually embody this stuff. Like, yeah. yeah, you might know this, but do you actually do it? And yesterday he had us doing it and yeah. honestly, it was only three hours, but after three hours I was like, oh my God, my life's changed. <laughs> mm. It's it's just yeah, it's it's really, a whole next level. He's a superhuman, like Oprah says. <laughs> he is, he is, and he, 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 what, he walks a walk, he talks a talk, he does it all, and like I say, he's the most energetic there. Yeah. See him jumping around, he's a bloody big monster he's too, so it was like, it's scary. <laughs> but it's, it is, and he, and he, he has really nice teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sam is getting jealous. I can't talk anymore now. <laughs> I'm really paranoid so, about this because she picks on my teeth. Anyway, guys, there's, really. there's lots of exciting things coming up. Um, so the other thing we want to share was um, we are running a, a free training, a webinar this Friday night. Yep. What time? We haven't decided on that yet, have we? That's why she looks at me like that. We're like, you wanted to do this? What time? I think six p.m. is pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Six, six, yeah, we'll see that. Right, well, that's why I don't ask. Six p.m. Um, that's Australian, Australian Eastern, Eastern time. time, so the Kiwis can get on. Definitely urge all you Kiwis to get on at eight p.m. I'm pretty sure it's two hours difference. Yeah. Um, there will be a recording of that, but if you're on live, we you make it far more personal like the last one I just rolled out Sunday night which was epic yeah. I, I think um, there's yeah, been we've had like 50 people 50 people just with the recording of that which is amazing and I am actually going to go deep on a couple of other things which I didn't mention the other night I ran out of time the other night I went for about an hour and 10 minutes um, and there's more deep stuff that I really feel that I, I am called to share um, and even us talking about it like I know a lot of people haven't heard a lot of your story either which mm -hmm. I think is it's pivotal in what we've created with our with our course going forward, which starts next week, and we're going to bring as much of this to the table. And we feel a free training Friday night to give you a taste of what the eight week course is going to be about, but more so to share a lot more of some of our, our darker stuff. Yeah. I think that's it's just yeah. it's just a bit of like it's just a bit of our background to really like not to not to go back there and take you guys there, but it's really just to show and just to be an example that it really doesn't matter what's happened in your life it, it really doesn't matter it's about the choices that you make your mindset yeah. and what you choose to do moving forward you can heal from anything you can overcome anything um, and that's really the purpose of us sharing this stuff it is it so is. what was your number one number one takeaway from number the one event? takeaway from the event yesterday <laughs> I, I can, but it's been like that, like coming. We'll share it on Alvi and Melvi. We will be sharing that, and we'll mention that again too. Alvi and Melvi. Alvi and Melvi. <laughs> Alvi and Mel, three o'clock this afternoon. We'll be sharing that to a page. Just check that out too, guys. Um, but we're sharing more about the event um, from the last couple of days. But Paul, oh, coming back from Peru, I think my biggest takeaway was how easy I was able to like get away from my head and all the stuff going on yesterday when we did a, a certain thing right near the end and what we're grateful for and. That really got to me. Like I was in tears instantly um, for a good reason, um, and that that was really really powerful for me. And it's something that I've I've had to do a lot of work around to get to that point. And I don't know. There's a few of us crying there. You weren't crying, but that that can be really vulnerable for people. And it's the point of it. I my eyes, and everyone around me was crying. Yeah. You and uh, yeah. you and Melvi. It's what they call playing full out too. A lot of people say, yeah, I play full out, but that's that's the real truth and real like the core of of getting vulnerable and all that, that's where that's where the cool stuff is. I cried in the other exercise that we had to share. We had to share so our... It's just taking the whole... <laughs> it's like, you're not important anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just moving it back a bit. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, well, we had to share our, what stresses us most, what we want most out of life. And what's and holding what, us back. What's holding us back. What's holding you back? Not fucking me. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> Myself. Yeah, mine was um, mine was really similar. Like um, one of the speakers, there were so many awesome speakers. I can't remember which one it was actually. Maybe Scott Harris. Um, Scott Harris was brilliant. Which is like one of Tony Robbins' number one guys. He's been yeah. working with him for about twenty years, and he's a fucking awesome coach yeah. as well. No bullshit. Yeah. Just straight which up. Cool. <laughs> really cool. And um, he was just talking about like you know all the people there yesterday, two thousand people or however many it was. You know, they're all there to make their lives better, improve their lives, better themselves. And, of course, most of them are business owners, you know, entrepreneurs, business people. We're so interested in self-development because your business and your income are only going to grow as much as you do as a person. So that's why we're all there, you know. But he was saying, like, you know, all of you guys are focusing... He, he, he asked a question and Tony Robbins asked it as well he's like how many of you guys are focused um, mostly focused on what you don't have in your lives and it was like 95% of the room raised their hands um, and he was just talking about it's like look if you guys you guys are living in Australia just the fact that you're here means that you already are rich so before you go on to saying, I want to, you know, I want to become rich, I want to become wealthy, I want to be successful in business, I want to improve my life, 
we need to first recognize that we already are rich. It's not about becoming rich, it's just about becoming rich uh and, and that's a noble pursuit. I mean it's like what do they say, like ninety just over ninety percent of the world live on just over two dollars a day. Right? So in a year it was saying was that Tony Robbins, like in one year they live on what an iPhone costs, like just our phones that we take so for granted every single day. Yeah. So like that's that's really powerful just to be in that mindset of gratitude, you know, first. Of course, it's very noble to want to better yourself, better your life, build a business, help others and all that. But we need to first realize that, stop focusing on the lack all the time and realize we already are rich and be grateful for that. Just the fact we live in a first world country and we have everything. We do. We really do. Yeah. Thank you for not letting me talk for ages and you talk for five minutes. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Actually, it reminded me of one of my things too. One of the other points. I know we're going to share a lot of this to Sabo, but just in case I don't, when you, um, when uh, Tony Robbins was talking about being proud, um, it's something that I've been battling with backwards and forwards the last couple of years, and especially working with a lot of men. Like sometimes we are proud, or we use pride as coming from a place of ego. But he's like, it's okay to be proud when it comes from the heart when you when you do achieve something be proud because if you don't celebrate being proud about something you've done then you're not going to strive to do it all the time it's like your little win um, and it's something I know with me even looking at that my perception of that that word or that coming from a different place and when the way Tony explained it was really really cool and it, it makes full sense too and it's um, like I say stuff with this you always learn more Does hey guys it, Hey everyone jumping on, you're Hello, more than welcome everyone. to just ask yep. us any questions or anything because we were just, or, the last two days we've been with fucking amazing people, like last two days and last two people. and a half weeks for me, it's been yeah. epic, yeah. So epic. ask us any questions, yeah. any questions, throw any questions, we are, Sorry, Steve. no that's alright, I just want to say we're currently here, I just want to spin this around for a sec, sorry everybody, so we are sitting here at Brew Whisters in Sydney, we just had, we've had a few different had, meals at different places here. We've been checking out some of the restaurants and the cafes. This was meal was amazing. amazing. It was seriously. Like quinoa, like quinoa salad, it. chicken, pumpkin, um, beetroot hummus. Yeah. It was one of those meals that they, it was like healthy and delicious all at the same time. It was cool. Which is hard to do. It's very, very Another good. amazing DT local venue. I'm pretty happy with that too. It's a few that I've checked out. I'm not going to explain what DT local is. They can ask me the question. Put it this way, we're eating our way to holidays. Yeah. Had to throw that in. The best loyalty program in the world, probably. <laughs> it is, with the food like we had this morning and the coffee too. Shh, I didn't Cold have coffee. coffee. I was meant to wait another day for coffee, but I couldn't resist. But <laughs> I'm sure my body can handle that. Um, how about we've gone on with a fair bit of stuff here, which is yeah. really, really cool. Um, like I say, main thing I think is this afternoon, 3 o'clock with LVML on the couch with the coaches they're going to put us on the spot so if you want vulnerability if you want stuff that we're not prepared for out of comfort zone you're going to get plenty of that this we afternoon for this, really. no and Albie has been hanging to ask me personal shit <laughs> seriously he's been waiting for months and he's, um, even though we've been staying with him the past two nights he's just waiting to jump on public waiting, so media. that will be please jump on that if you want to see him do his best to embarrass me <laughs> it will happen this afternoon at three o'clock. It will happen. I'm I'm pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be funny. Yeah. Even I want to watch it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you make me vulnerable all the time. That's why I hang around her. That's why she's cool. Aww. Aww. Anyway, guys. We'll jump off otherwise we're, we're just gonna done share we're just every, gonna talk everything now. that every... we learned yesterday thank you everyone who jumped on in the middle of the day here we really do appreciate you spending the time to even not comment just to look that's cool and yeah we'll see you later today see you later today for sure bye bye, -bye.